I told YouTube I was gonna turn into a gorilla or something. I'm gonna rep. Okay. So he went to stick me in this hand, and like he says, the mirror was defective, and that shit went all over me. Ricky, you can see it. You can see the liquid is still like drying up. Mm, the, the, the mirror was defective. Yeah, he was like, he kept apologizing over and over and over. He said, I'm so sorry, like that doesn't happen. And because he went. <laughs> He went to press the needle, and it reminded me of, like, how people, you know, online, like, you see it all the time. It's like, look, this is what they're doing. It's like they're putting in air. He, like, put it, and the liquid just shoot it everywhere. He stuck it with you first? He stuck huh? it in you first? He stuck it here, but it didn't, he didn't go in. He, like, pricked me. Was but he certified? Who the fuck was he? Was he a doctor? I think so. I think he was a doctor there. And that you really do nothing. Yeah, so then he had to do the other arm. So he did it here. But that thing got all on me. I was Wait, like... Did you ask questions like I told you to? Yeah, I said, I said, I don't have any questions, but my fiance wants to know what's um, in this. And he was like, well, you know, no one really knows. It's just like cell protein or something like that. Yeah, we could have got protein from GNC. Dude, I don't know. I'm still alive. I'm still alive, and I'm not gonna die. I'm vaccinated, babe. Hmm. I didn't want to. I didn't want to get vaccinated. Go. I want the job. Me too. <laughs> Good morning, America! Lady, what are you doing in the middle of the freaking road? People don't know how to drive. This is why I don't drive anymore. I'd rather just stay off of the road because people don't know how to drive. Anyways, so guess what, y'all? If you watched my last vlog, you know I'm going back to working America. And becoming... private flight attendant so I'm going back to work and my job is requiring me to join team vax team vax is when you get vaccinated and you join the rest of society that believes the vaccination is k all of the above um however then there's people like me we don't care about the news we don't care about the media we don't care about what's happening in the United States of America um I live here, but I don't have no parts of what's going on here, okay? So, for, I've been part of Team Facts, and Team Facts is, you know, when you're fake vaccinated and you walk around acting like you're vaccinated, you don't wear a mask anywhere, you just do you, and what's bad for you is bad for you. And I know a lot of you are going to be like, oh my God, you're, 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 um, you're out here in these streets, not vaccinated, acting like you're vaccinated. You don't care about other safety. Listen, honey, I live in Florida. The whole freaking state doesn't care about COVID. Okay. Anyways. Well, so my job, I really want this job. And they're requiring me to get vaccinated. So I didn't think I was ever going to get vaccinated unless it was required for me to travel. Because y'all know traveling is like my one thing I have to do. It keeps me sane. And when you start mensing up what I love to do, now I have to go get it done. So I'm on my way to go get this vaccine. I figured I'd vlog it because like a lot of people, maybe you also had no idea how to go about this. So all I did was Google the nearest place to get vaccinated near me because, you know, they're handing it out like candy. And there's a there's a store right across the street from my house. I probably could have walked there. Um, and they're doing it. So there's two vaccines I see so far. One, you can get it one and done. And that's it. And then, which is the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. 
and then there's another vaccine where you have to go for two you had to do two you had to get two doses so they gave me one appointment for now today And you know what's crazy? To get to get the COVID vaccine, I made an appointment yesterday for today. When I'm trying to get COVID testing, I'm over here having to wait freaking months. Like, how does this work? There's something up. And I don't know what it is, but I'm going to get to the bottom of this. So, pretty much, pretty much, it is extremely easy to get this vaccine. You could Google nearest panty store near me and they're probably handing it out there. And on top of that, they are giving incentives. Krispy Kreme, you show up with your vaccination card, you get a free donut. My job. Now I don't wanna talk bad about my new job cause you know, I'm trying to get this chat. I'm out here trying to get this money. Um, sorry, car. So, yeah. I made it to the store. That's how quick it was. It's right across the street from my house. So, um, yeah, I really want this job. And I don't want to talk bad about my job. But even my job is giving me $50 for getting this vaccine done. And it kind of puts me in a bind because... It puts me in a bind because it's not like I'm given the option. Like, hey, take the vaccine, we'll give you $50. Don't take it, you just don't get the $50. It's like, take the vaccine, get the $50, but you still have to take the vaccine to get the job. So I don't have an option. And I think, I thought that's what America is about. Like freedom of speech, being able to make my own decisions, you know. So how come I, I, I thought I had a choice, but I guess I don't have a choice. I guess I have to get vaccinated. Um, so yeah, I wanted to vlog this today in case something happens to me. Um, Dre didn't want to ride with me. He was up all night freaking out and looking up videos about what's in this vaccine and what it's doing to people and on my way out the door he told me to ask them all of these questions what's in this vaccine and I asked him if he wanted to go with me he said no because if those people even try to convince me to take that freaking shot I'm gonna have to go up in there and pop, pop, pop. I'm just playing no I didn't he didn't say that y'all it's just joking he didn't say that um he said he said he he, he doesn't want to get the vaccine and he doesn't he didn't want to ride up here with me okay so it's just me by myself and you guys are going to be my witness if something happens so i wanted to vlog this and show y'all what's about to go down hopefully i don't transform into like a monkey or something <laughs> all right pray for me i need to do the video like after the bbl put the phone in my butt so you can see like the comments that i get on the daily this guy just said oh my jesus okay So I just got to the pharmacy. In the grocery store. How does that work? The pharmacy in the grocery store. They're giving away freaking vaccines in the grocery store. Next to the tampons. All right, so it's almost my time in the line. And I wonder if like I can just make myself a fake vaccine card at this point because I'm kind of freaking out. I hate needles. Mm. And this music playing in the store is not making anything any better. My heart, y'all, do y'all hear my heart beating? It's like I'm sorry. Oh, no. It's almost my turn. Hello. I'm here. I have to take the vaccine. Yeah. 
can have your ID? Yes. Is it the first one or the second? The first. All right. She's looking at me like, you don't have a vaccine and you're not wearing a mask. Not allowed. Um, I do have one, but I'm not sure if it's, I have this. Oh, I have that Which product will I receive? Am I doing the Moderna? Yeah. Um, have you ever received a COVID-19? Oh, no. No. They didn't know where I Oh. All right, so it's 10.47 a.m. And my appointment's at 11.15. So they won't see me until 11.15. So now I have to wait by the pull-ups. This is a little like um, waiting area. So you have like that machine. I got a chair here. And then there's like more chairs down this way. A little waiting room. But it's almost time y'all. So keep um say your prayers okay, what's your name looks like they didn't update your insurance on the computer what's your date of birth again okay. did you have any questions for me um no my husband did tell me to ask what's in it but i don't even know if anybody knows that like what's in the vaccine hard to know okay. specifically what's in it. Um, it's mostly just like, you know, cell proteins. And they tell your body like what to recognize if you were to get infected by the COVID shot. Okay. Um, so I'm going to put the date today on your form. So 22, 21. Um, no allergies to anything. Mm -hmm. We're doing Moderna today. All those. Have you ever had a COVID shot before? Have you ever been diagnosed with COVID before? No. And we had your appointment for 115 or 11. 1115. Okay, everything looks good to me. Is it all right if we do your left arm? Um, yeah. I mean, well, because I'm a lefty, so I don't, 
So this I don't shot know does if make people a little sore. So like just whatever you're comfortable with. You're probably gonna have to deal with the soreness for a day or two. Okay. I don't know if I should do it on my dominant hand then or <laughs> yeah. it's your choice, I guess so. Most people choose their non dominant hand actually. Okay, so it'll be my right. Yeah. Or you can just do the left, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Get it clean off your arm first. Keep your arm nice and relaxed for me, okay? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Oh, I'm so sorry. I have a defective needle and it leaked. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna have to stab you again. Like the what? I'm gonna have to inject yeah. you again. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> Because you got the arm, the shot all down your arm instead of inside. So I'll use one of these good ones and I'll be right back. Okay. So the shot. Didn't go in my arm and it went all over my arm. I'm so sorry about that. You're fine. <laughs> I, usually our needles are super reliable, so I've never had that happen before. Okay. So for proof, I guess we're doing a very nice. We should do the other side now. Yeah. Since I feel the poking sensation. I've already poked you once, I don't want to do it anymore. Okay. <laughs> once again, clean in your off, let it dry. Let's keep the bandage just in case we didn't even bleed from the first one. You ready? Here we go. Women? I mean, like the fluid? <laughs> Okay, so I'm good. Do it. Will I get like a card or something for? Yeah. So we made a card for you. Um, it's got your information and the date you got your shot. Okay. Just bring this back to your second appointment, and we'll put your second sticker down here. Okay. Okay. Do Do I have to get the second one like at a certain time frame? Because I'm I'm leaving away for work. That's why I have to get yeah. it. Um. So I don't know, like. Am, is the vaccine like regulation have to do it by a certain time? It's recommended mm -hmm. that you do it 28 days apart, so okay. four weeks from today. If you can't make it on that exact date, though, there are, is some flexibility. Just call us and let us know when you can make it. Okay. Or if you have to go somewhere else, yeah. Just um, you know, show them the card. They'll make sure the date's appropriate, and they have to absolutely have to give you Moderna. Okay. Okay. So I took the shot and now I have to wait 15 minutes um, before they release me, I guess, to make sure I don't transform into a unicorn or something. So I have to be here another 15 minutes. You doing okay as well? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. This is where I got stabbed. Right now I feel like a little bit weird. Like this side of my body is like feels weird, it's like a tingling. I am done. It is now 11:31, so my appointment was at um my appointment was at 11:15. I showed up. My appointment was at 11.15, but I think I showed up at like 10.40, super early. 
I was trying to get it over with, but they wouldn't see me till, like I filled out the paperwork, which was two pages. That noise is annoying, hold on. Um, so I filled out the paperwork. It was two pages. Um, and then I sat back down until 11.15 because they would not see me before my time. Um, so then I took the shot and I'm not sure if you guys, I'm going to look back at the footage to see if you could hear what the hell happened. This guy went to stick me in my left arm because he said, he said to, he said everyone typically gets stabbed on their left arm, but I'm a lefty. So I was like, mm, I don't know which hand to do it in because he said people say they get sore afterwards. So I just told him to do the left arm. So he went to stick it in the left arm and I don't know what happened, but the freaking vaccine got all over me and he apologized a lot of times. Um, he just kept saying that clearly the needle, um, the needle was defective. So it didn't go into my arm and it actually went all over my body instead. So we had to then try the right arm and I got it on my right arm and then they set a timer for 15 minutes to make sure you don't transform into anything and then they let you go. So right now I feel okay. I'm kind of like, my head's kind of like pounding a little bit and I have like this like you know like if you get tranquilized like kind of like your body's like uh, like that's how I feel but we're gonna see Dre just text me um, he, said, he said I'm telling you nothing better be happening or I'm gonna cause hell on earth so I'm heading home to let him know that I'm okay for right now and yeah I got my first dosage guys now I gotta come back in 28 days and get dose number two um, and hopefully that doesn't finalize me turning into um, an oyster. <laughs> oh man, I really got freaking vaccinated. Who would have freaking thought? Not me. Where is the world coming to? One way or another. One way or another, they got me. Um, but yeah... Um, if you guys got vaccinated, let me know about your experience. If you're thinking about it and you're scared, hopefully my experience kind of shed some info on how the experience is going to go. Um, I did it. If I do it, so can you. <laughs> Trust me, now I can go get a free freaking donut. Um, and I'm going to get $50. Whoopee. I might die in the process, but... For all of you vaccinators out there, I am amongst y'all. I am now one of y'all. Can you please let me over, bro? Bro, I have to get over. Move. Mother freaker. Wanna ride my freaking... Ooh, people annoy me in traffic. Anyways. This might be the early signs of me turning into a gorilla, guys. Um, Alright, well, I'm back home now, so... The day is young. May you all have a blessed day. <laughs> Ciao! Love you!